Who do you trust? Have you ever been betrayed? So I turned 30. And I decided, hey, you got to get out there and see the world. Do it before you die. Do it before you're too old. So I booked a trip to Greece. Birthplace of the greatest mythology of democracy, modern medicine and war. The greatest stories ever told. How could it not be fun to go? On the plane, I was sh shaken, you know. <laughs> Never been on a plane before, it was frightening. But arriving in Greece, beautiful Greece. The beauty, the stunning landscapes, the gorgeous oceans and the people are kind and generous. I felt fear wash right over me. Here I was, I'm here in Greece, I've done it. And then it started to set in. Just the anxiety, the, the fear. What are you doing here? Go home before you get yourself killed or worse into trouble. What are you doing here? You don't belong here. You come from England, you're here on a whim. Go home. But no, no, I must stick it through. I must do this. When am I going to get another chance? But then I saw this tour guide. And after talking with him for a few minutes, my anxieties and my fears just left me. I mean, there I was with this man who knew the area, who knew everything about where, where we were and what to see. And upon talking to him for a few more minutes, he realized that I'd never been here before and that I wanted to see something magnificent. So he offered to show me the labyrinth. He took me to the nearest dock and assured me that everything was all right, that uh, he was gonna take me somewhere that not other many tourists get to go. I felt so excited. Yeah, some place in Greece that nobody really gets to go to, the secret places. It was beautiful. It was such a, such a gorgeous boat ride from the shore to back to the Isle of Crete. Oh, the sea was so beautiful. No clouds in the sky. Fresh, clear water where you could see so many great creatures playing. Then we landed on the island. It was almost volcanic on the side that we landed on. Black rock everywhere, the smell of pungent kind of rotting fish. But upon talking to the guide, he told me that this was normal, that there was a volcanic vent near the island, that everything here was as it should be. And <laughs> of course I believe him. He lives here. He does this for a living. Who am I to, to say against him? So we started to climb. And it was hard. It was a very hard climb. I could not, I couldn't breathe basically. We approached the steps that led to this tunnel that he had assured me was where the great labyrinth was. The labyrinth. <laughs> How can you not go to Greece and see the labyrinth? The trap door that led underneath the stonework, underneath the island itself. <laughs> I've come this far. How could I not go on? I was cocky, I suppose. I didn't take a single thought into what I was doing. I didn't even take a single thought into who this person was. But yet, when he offered to take my bag from me for, for, the, for the climb up, I thought, absolutely. This guy is a brilliant, brilliant person for doing this to me, for helping me, for seeing that I was in panic and just helping me through it. And then it happened. We were walking down this first set of steps into the corridor. Everything got dark excessively quickly. But then I felt his hand upon my back. And the next thing I knew, I was stumbling through the dark into the black chasm. He betrayed me. He left me here to die. And as I turned back up and looked into the light, I saw him laughing, laughing at me for believing and trusting in him. And all I could think as I left through the darkness at looking up at the one spot of light was please, please don't do this to me. Get me out of here now, please. I'm sorry, I, I won't tell anyone, I promise. But then it all went silent, too silent. The darkness set in and all I could think was how I'm going to die here. I thought there's no way to climb up. I must push through, I must find a way out. And at this point, I wasn't thinking anything but sheer panic. I couldn't breathe. The sweltering heat of this place was killing me beyond anything beyond the panic could do. So I start feeling my way through the darkness. Only pinpricks of lights bursting through the ceiling and the most... Revealing nothing. 
but the smell and the feel of the tunnels themselves. Sticky. Rotten smell, sharp as pinpricks. I have no idea what I'm stepping on here. I have no idea what's going on. And then I heard it. Through the darkness. The sound of hooves and steel and stone. An almighty roar from a great beast echoed through the labyrinth and all I could think is this can't be real, this can't be, this cannot be real. I'm in the labyrinth. And there's mine at all. No, 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 I can't do this, I gotta get out of here, please help me, get me out of here now. I must find my way back, how, how did they do it, how did they escape? Think, think. I can't do it, I can't do it, get me out of here, please. I can't be here, I can't do this. Oh God. Wait, think, just think, think, think. Think to yourself, you know how to get out of this. Just remember the stories, remember. The sound, the sound is getting close. The sound of steel and stone, sparks and hooves and snorts. It's real, it's real, it's real and it's coming for me, it's coming for me. Wait, 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 wait. String, that's how they did, that's how they found their way back. I mean, we've got a fat lot of good that's gonna be to you now, isn't it, you idiot? You don't have all the string, you can't find your way back. Come on, you've got to try, you've got to try, you've got to get back through, come on! I started to feel my way through the brick and the stone, feeling sharp pinpricks like glass and needles into my feet and my hands. It's only till I turned about the damn corners that I realised there was no way I was getting back. There was nothing I could do, I'm gonna die here. I can't find my way out. I don't know how many turns I've taken, but I am lost, I need help, please, someone get me out. I, I can't, I don't want to die like this. Please get me out of here. It's coming. It's coming. I don't know how far, but it's coming for me. It's here. It's found me.